Hello guys and welcome to this great Shadow Legends video. Today I'm going to talk about Arena and Stone Skin gear set that you can get from Hydra. Uh, recently um, the Arena has become insanely hard. Um, and uh, yeah, just look at all these teams I have fought here. Um, these guys are faster than me actually, uh, and that is never used to happen. I have always had the fastest Arbiter in the low gold 4. So just look at all of these teams. Okay, Hegemon, very hard to deal with. Duchess, Canderfon, plus Bogoth, oh my god, that's crazy. Twarmin, Duchess, Leorius, oh my god. Duchess, Vodos, Imar, very hard as well. This is a pure speed team. Um, I think I will actually be slower than them because, or else, how would they? Okay, this is really close. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes, my camera is finally speed tuned. Oh my god. Do you see how close that was? This probably means I win. Very close right there. So, um. Yeah, look at all these other teams. If you don't have a insanely fast Arbiter, then you are in trouble. You know, uh, I can actually show you a little bit. So I think the problem with Arena now is Stone Skin gear. Because I believe those with great Stone Skin gear has risen up to Gold 5 area, or a really very high Gold 4. So that the other teams that is good but they don't have stone skin they will be pushed down until until, until gold 4 i mean and apparently let's look at the platinum tier there's no one platinum and there is 21 hours left there is a maximum limit of 500 people and platinum but 21 hours before the reset there is no one there is no one Platinum. What? As Max Sharon said in his video, it should always be the top 500 players are in Platinum. That would help at least for someone to get Platinum rewards, but that still would not help um, getting uh, Gold 4 easier, because... Yeah, it, it doesn't remove anyone up or down. So, what I think they need to do is making... Um, it is some kind of uh, bot system, but I don't really like that. I believe they should make... Let's see here. Platinum, 1, 2, 3, 4. Just remove gold 5, it doesn't matter. Remove gold 5, create platinum 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that way, a lot more people will be able to get to gold 4 and actually get these great 4 medals. Because everyone should be able to get to gold 4 if they have played for a long time. And even now, I'm struggling, I haven't played this game for almost three years or something. Look at my Arbiter. Look at this. 365 speed. And most of the battles that I have lost, 33 losses, are to... That my Madame is the fastest one. Imagine that. Absolutely crazy. So, um, yeah. So, Stone Skin. What is the problem with Stone Skin? I've talked about this a couple of times but i really think i have to talk about it again because i don't think people understand how goddamn what power it is uh you know what first let's take a look at immunity gear what does this give um well this gives a buff immunity for two turns immunity for two turns that means you have a buff that makes you not able to be debuffed um and that is great, like if someone has a Dinkers defense that they want to place on you, you can't do that, you can't place fair, Hegemon can't debuff you, he can't lock you out. But it can be removed by champions that remove buffs like Madame Ceres. Now there's another set here, and there's a little little upgraded one. <laughs> Untouchable. Literally the same set, except it has plus 40 resistance. A tiny, tiny, tiny little difference right there. So, yeah, that's the buff they ma managed to get to this one. A tiny, tiny difference here. Let's take a look at Stone Skin. Oh my god. 
part piece bonus, you get some assistance in health and defense. And basically, you gain the immunity buff as well. Because with, when you have this buff, you cannot be debuffed exactly like immunity gear. But you also have a 50% chance of blocking removals or steals. So not only do you get more health and defense, but you also get this insanely RNG stuff with a 50% chance of blocking removals or steals. That one is just ridiculous, okay? That means if I have a 7800 accuracy madame, you know, and I try to remove stone skin, there's still a 50-50 that I can't remove it. Um, so the 4-piece only lasts one turn, the 6-piece lasts two turns. What it doesn't say here is that you... This is the most, most broken part of it, that you gain a shield. That means... And this shield is massive, I think it scales from your health and defense somehow, so... And that shield makes you basically immortal. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Look at this thing. They have a bit of increased attack, speed tuning with Sandra, and double nuke. These aren't the greatest nukers, but there's two nukers, so they should be able to kill. Okay. Actually, let's look at my cardinal stats before I start battle. Look at this. She has 41,000 health and 3,300 defense. That's garbage, okay? I can't one shot that with my ray without any debuffs on her. Look at this. Do you see that? Do you see this pink shell? I did not even deal half of a shield. Look at that. She, and this is before she even takes any damage. So they couldn't even... Not even close of killing the shield. It's ridiculous how... She is literally immune to damage. And... She could not be debuffed. She could not get HP burn. She could not get weakest defense. Of course, I also built her with a lot of resistance. That means, even if I have a madame, I have still an even better chance of resisting the debuff. And I resisted Lissandra, or else she can permanently CC me, you know? So, with this team, they, they were faster, they did all their stuff. But I lose. One champion with stone skin. Look at that. Huh. So, the shield absorbs 7389 damage. So, I think the shield also gives you a 85% damage resistance. It's ridiculous. Of course, um, the shield is really weak to bombs. Um, bombs, uh, what does that do? Yeah, bombs, they deal triple damage to people in stone skin. So, um, yeah, she would die to anyone with bombs. That means, if I have a soul ranker, I can attack her with this. Twice, uh, two bombs or something on her. Okay, then I just do that, and then I deal some. Deal three attacks to reduce the bomb to uh, cut on detonation. All right, I just do that then. But he only has four forty-one accuracy, so I would need a increased accuracy buff. With increased accuracy, I get to six hundred and uh, sixty accuracy. Let's imagine that I. Yeah, I'll do that. But my cardinal has 672 resistance, so even bomb champions really struggle to bomb her. Imagine if you have a 600 accuracy bomb champion with a lot of attack, that's an insane build, but I still resist the bombs. So, a small thing that was thing that could counter stone skin 
don't necessarily count it. Or the other option is, all right, you have 600 accuracy on your bomber, and you have increased accuracy on your shotgun, then you can bomb all the shotguns here. Uh, but the problem is, this detonates after three turns, and most other bomb champions detonate after uh, two turns. That means you could use the champion, you also get the new farm stone skin gear, you will get the key tech finder. Mithrala Life Pain. Okay. Mithrala Life Pain, she is an insane champion. She can remove all the buffs, strength, and shields and stuff. So, Cleanse can literally just remove all bombs. It's that easy. So, if the enemy tries to bomb you, alright, you uh, you can live through one turn, but your next two would die. But no, she just cleanse. And the most important thing is that he can get easily with this passive here, she can easily get over 1000 resistance. And imagine having a bomber that can uh, be prefer. Oh my god. Even better, you can build her in immunity gear or untouchable gear. You can have it in those gear pieces, and the shield can't be bombed at all. And then she just cuts. At the same time as you release down skin, that can only be countered by bomb champions pretty much, you also release a champion that counters bombs. What the hell? So yeah, stone skin is busted as hell. And so I see two ways to nerf stone skin. It has to be nerfed, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, base that's there, they're fine. Cares. Um, but the 50% chance of, of blocking removal so steals, I don't think one option is just remove this 50% chance of removal of all steals. That means you have um, a great buff, you have a great immunity buff, also gives you a massive shield. That's crazy. So if you actually build a champion with a lot of resistance, then she can also be immune to damage. But if you have an interest like a champion, you have a reliable way to remove stone skin. Um, as easy as you can remove immunity or the other one, untouchable. It is still a great set that is a lot better than immunity and untouchable. Still insane. Or the other option, Remove the shield thing that makes you immune to damage. That is possibly the better option, just... Okay, you have a improved immunity set with also a 50-50 RNG to not be removed, you know? With HP resistance defense. So, RNG said that you have a immunity, immunity set, you know? That's very good. You're not immune to damage, but you have a really high chance you just don't. Yeah, it's still a very improved and touchable immunity set, you know? Still insane. So, even if you remove this or the humongous shield that makes you immune to damage, it is still the better set. So, um, that would make it actually possible to deal with because just having a, you know, not being able to remove it and they are immune to damage it's just insane because you can literally make a team with four nukers that all have the maximum damage no speed they are immune to damage and half of them at least one of them can't be built you know, if they enemy have a madame probably two of them will still have the stone skin the two dice and um, those the nuke and the win or if she also does her a2 that's a chance to remove okay the chance that still one of them will live if that's a tramda you just nuke you and you die no so the rng stuff is just uh, absolutely stupid and the immune to damage thing is absolutely stupid of course you are not 
actually immune to damage. I think I've experienced probably two times where the enemies was able to damage, well, kill me through the shield. Um, and that is when she, uh, they had Arbiter, Lysandra, and double nuke. Um, and I think the nukers take, it took uh, three turns each. So, <laughs> when they took three turns each, they were able to get through the shield. Hopefully I won't be stripped here. Assisted, look at that, yeah, that's right. Look at that. Okay, a fourth of the shield is gone. Boom. A little over half of the shield is gone. Normally, Tronda would have dealt 200, 300, 400,000 damage at this point. Look at this, no. The biggest thing is that he cannot be critical hit. And, uh, yeah, this shield can literally tank 500, 600,000 damage or something like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, and I just do this, boom, win. It's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Storm skin is busted as well. So, um, yeah. All the... Um, actually, a couple easy fights there. This one and this one looks like a free win. This is not necessarily a free win in the, in the, if he's very fast. It is with this stone skin. Let's see how much damage he can do to the stone skin. One nuke. Just a second nuke. Oh. Wow. Put him in half. Oh. And a big reason for that is also that he can play Sticker's defense. Because he, he can't. So if he could play Sticker's defense. So. Things are just crazy right now in the arena. Uh, my defense is very try hard actually. I just tried this because I was struggling with defense. I actually win a couple of fights here and there. So I'm gonna remove a bunch of it uh, actually. Because I don't want to be high higher up because then I'm in middle uh, hard fights, you know? Yeah, that's my. Um, that's what I think about the arena right now. It's stupid, it's ridiculously hard. And uh, Stone Skin is probably the reason. Stone Skin is not even close to any other set. Just compare it to immunity. Wow, you are immune to debuffs, but I can just remove that. But you still take full damage. Jesus Christ. Anyways, that's it. Uh, yep, yeah, see you guys in the next one. And yeah, goodbye.